Hello again. Um, I'm here with another example of kinetics of particles um, related to curvilinear motion. The objective here is to uh, use second law to solve for the unknowns. So here you have this 15 kilogram slider which is sliding around the uh, this smooth vertical guide, uh, you know, this half circle guide. And th so there is no friction. So let's write down that there is no friction in the problem, right? The mass is 15 kilograms. So these are all given. And uh, the speed of the, the slider at this, at this instant at point A is equal to, let's say, uh, 6 meters per second. And actually, we are told that at this instant, the rate of increase uh, of the speed, the V dot, which actually is the definition of tangential acceleration, is given to be 5 meters per second squared. So we are given the speed at the instant shown and also the rate of change of speed, V dot, which is A sub T. What we want to find, so those are all given, what we want to find is actually the normal reaction uh, exerted by the guide on that slider, so that's N, normal force, right? And also the force P that is actually giving the speed and the rate of change of the speed. So P here is unknown. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw a free body diagram here. Um, and um, as you know, the most important thing in doing uh, kinetic problems, especially using uh, second law, is to draw a free body diagram. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so I'm going to draw the free body diagram of this slide there. So I'm going to start with, uh, I'm going to show the unknowns in red. So P is unknown at an angle of 30 degrees. Normal force here. There is no friction, obviously. And then uh, the weight of this guy, which I'm just going to put it as 15 G, 15 times uh, G, where G is 9.81. So G, let me write down here that G is 9.81 meters per second squared. Okay, so that's the free body diagram. Now let me show you the axis that we're going to use. So the tangential axis, which would be tangent to the path, would be like horizontal like that. And normal axis as this uh, slider is going around this half circle, would be actually toward the center of the circle. And as you could see, the radius of curvature of this path is the radius of this half circle, which is 0.5 meters. All right. So basically, we're going to apply two equations here. One equation is in the uh, t direction. So we say sum of the forces in the t is equal to mass times tangential acceleration. So actually, it's good to start with this e the equation because that will give us right away the value of P. So you see, uh, the component of P along the t-axis is P cosine 30, right? And that's it. No other force. You see the weight and N are in the uh, normal direction. Equal to mass, which is 15 kilograms, times the tangential acceleration, which is that V dot. So we go ahead and solve for P here. And P happens to be... 86.6 and the unit should be newtons so that's p 86.6 newtons our next equation would be in the normal direction so no no before i actually i use that equation you know that you need normal acceleration so normal acceleration can be determined easily as you know normal acceleration is v squared over rho so let's go ahead and uh, take this six and divided by 0.5, so 36 over 0.5 becomes 72 meters per second squared. So we go ahead and write the equation of motion in the normal direction. Sum of the forces in normal equal mass times normal acceleration. Now, this is the, the, the part that you have to be very careful. The positive normal is actually this direction. That's the way actually AN is acting. The direction of this 72 is down toward the center of curvature. So you have to be careful. So downward is the positive direction here. Therefore, 15G is positive. That's the weight of the object.
n would be negative p sine 30 would be also negative right so remember we already know what p is p is uh 86.6 we plug that in here right 15 times 9.81 that's g here right equal mass mass is what uh, 15 kilograms times this normal acceleration which is pointing down and that's a positive direction so if you go ahead and plug in all the numbers n happens to be about 976 newton 976.15 but that's good enough there we go I was able to fit everything in one page sorry to, uh, for the bad handwriting uh, hopefully with the next videos I'm going to use a better uh, iPad with a better pen uh, right now I'm using my fingers actually thanks for uh, watching and listening and I'll see you soon